Pineapple, uh, right? Pineapple Express. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. James Perry was talking one of my, his ears off. He's yeah. like, all right, weed in, in the, the bag. bag. <laughs> one of my there. fucking lingerers. Yeah. The linger. He lingers. lingers yeah. That that fucking lingers. That um, movie is so fascinating because it's it's the um, it's the action and comedy mixed. Yeah. Yeah. So well. It's yeah. as action as I get. And that's as action as I get. I'm not yeah. an action guy either. Yeah. Um, but the comedy is so great throughout. Like fucking, I, I said this before. I think even on the podcast, Danny McBride is the goat. Of is those the goat of those yeah. movies? Is yeah. the goat yeah. in general for like physical comedy? Yeah, yeah. He's so funny looking. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Hey, like Will Ferrell was in the nineties. Yeah. I think the goat. Early two thousands. Now yeah. McBride's taking that role. Yeah, yeah. the Ferrell role. Is yeah. that fair? Sure. Yeah. And yeah. Ferrell, because I think it would go what. Like in nineties, it it was Jim Carrey. Like that was sure. that was a decade. Oh, Jim God. Carrey, I mean, who's, who's the taking, mask. Who's taking physical comedy away from him? Uh, no, but he, he took, No, but he took a different term. The mask. No, no, one no, hundred percent. But when he did Pet Detective, the second one, I, I'd say when he did Man on the Moon, Truman Show. Yeah, that's when he got a little heady, a little dark, mm-hmm. a little dark. And then he did Eternal Sunshine. He got a little too heady. Dick and Jane just sprinkle some fun in there. That was all right. But I think yeah. in general, he lost the tread. Mm-hmm. I love Jim yeah. Carrey, but he got a little yeah. crazy. But then if it went to, if it would, I think it would go Jim Carrey, then Mike Myers, and then mm-hmm. Mike Will, Myers. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Yeah. Then we got like McBride I, and Rogue into it's not really Rogue. Yeah. We talked about this because we watched um, Observe and Report around the same oh, time. Yeah, amazing. And I was watching it the whole time. I was like, man, this would have been so much better. With, if, Danny with Danny McBride, and then at the end of the movie, like directed by Jody, Jody Hill, Hill I was like, his partner. it was supposed to be McBride, yeah, exactly. But he just wasn't famous enough. He wasn't, and I mean, at that point, the, the, that movie to this day, I think Seth Rogen or not, is still underrated. Yes, I think that was movie a little too dark for the world. Have you seen Observe and Report? Yeah, we becomes like, tries to become the cop. He's like, yeah, ran a cop in the mall. Super, super mentally unstable. Super dark movie. Is yeah. it a, it's in the mall. Mall cop, yeah. Remember when he's talking to like the lady at the hot dog stand? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Patton Oswald was the boss. He was in the in the hot dog. Stand. And it ends with like the longest, like you know, fucking yeah. full frontal chase. A homage yeah. to Fight Club too, with the "Where's My Mind?" Yeah, Pixie song. Um, all I used to.